All right. So this is now happening. Bloomberg changes could be coming to the Twitch partner system. More ads, less split, new tiers, no exclusivity. What does this mean? And why is Among Us in the categories they would like? That meeting yesterday that I had was with Twitch. And honestly, I've, they were great. I mean, they were fun to hang out with. They were nice. We met with people really high ups at Twitch. I can't even say their goddamn names are so damn popular, chat. These are popular ass people. They're tippity tippity top. And then they put this out the next day. <laughs> They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll stay on Twitch, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Amazon Twitch seeks to revamp creator pay with focus on profit. Live streaming site wants to promote use of advertisements. Top talent can see reduction in share on subscription fees. Wait a minute, does that mean I'm losing my 70-30 split? Shut the fuck up. No way. They wouldn't take it from me. I'm too big. If this happens, chat, here's what I think is going to go down. I think a lot of creators are going to use other sites for their people to subscribe to. But will that actually work? If I'm like, go to sub subscribe to my Patreon, I get 90%. I think it could work with a lot of smaller creators. But I think a lot of bigger creators, they don't really give a shit. An example is DGG, where DGG had a, a platform on the other side that he got 100% of the revenue, and it did work. Chat, if I have 10,000 subs, then that means that it's either working or at around the same capacity, right? If I'm getting 100% profit, but on another website, while Twitch is getting 50-50, all I need to have is 12,000 subs and it's about even. Also, you have to do taxes on this website and stuff like that too, but I don't think I'm gonna lose my partner thing, am I? Pluto. Yo, am I really losing my split? I've worked so hard. Halt, before you go anywhere, please notice that you do not have notifications on on this channel. And although 11% of you guys do, just know that 89% of you guys do not. So before you go anywhere, can you please put on notifications? We will give you three seconds. Thank you. Twitch, the Amazon company owned live streaming website, it's weighing changes to how it pays top talent. Wait a minute, is this me no Twitch contracts? <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Hold up. Some change to Twitch monetization structure could be implemented as soon as the summer. Twitch staff is considering paring back the revenue cut of channel subscriptions granted to the top echelon of streamers so-called partner program from 50%. Another option is to create multiple tiers and set criteria for how to qualify for each one. I think that's a good thing. Am I wrong? I think it's a good thing that Twitch is finally implementing that. A tiered system based on viewership, where you can either, that, that depends on what you get. In exchange, Twitch may offer release partners from exclusive restrictions, allowing them to stream on Google's YouTube or Facebook. Here's the problem, chat. It's that Twitch knows that they have them, us by the balls. Twitch knows that the streamers and viewers that are that are going to YouTube are either banned or they're getting a huge contract that's paid for that's worth more than they're actually worth. And until YouTube has a, a a system that actually works, how many times have we heard that Twitch that YouTube is getting a new subs, it's getting tw a Twitch Prime, it's getting a rating system? I haven't seen shit. And until that happens, Twitch knows they have us by the balls because you know what Twitch has that YouTube doesn't retention. You guys all are watching my stream and you're in the Twitch culture. You're not just clicking on Twitch one time and leaving. You're clicking on Twitch clicking on Twitch every time and you're staying and you're watching and you're consistently watching other streamers. When you're on this platform right here, you're not going to click another thing and go to a YouTube video. That's what happens with Ludwig's channel. You're clicking on other streamers. And that's the big thing that Twitch has over YouTube is that I almost see Ludwig's channel, 3,000 of them are loyal Ludbuds. And the rest are just a bunch of people who were just clicked. They saw live and they're like, what the fuck does live mean? And they click it. It's like passing through the wind. They're not really paying attention. They're not really there. They're not really part. There's no culture. What's coming in two weeks? Look, there's nothing I hope for more in the world than Ludwig to succeed. And that's the truth. You know why? Because I'm the most similar to him. I want Ludwig to succeed more than I want any other person to succeed. Because if Ludwig succeeds, then that means I get a fat check. Is that not wrong? Because then they're gonna be like, damn, who's the closest to Ludwig? Miss Kip. And then they're like, oh shit, what up? Lots coming to YouTube Gaming. PSA that YouTube red share across fan funding features remains 70-30 and our YouTube partner program doesn't require any form of content exclusivity. The thing is, it still is fucking YouTube gaming, man. It, it, it doesn't have a lot of what Twitch has. But here's the thing. I think YouTube can be bigger and better than Twitch by far if they have the right implicate, like if they Im Im implemented the right things, but they don't. And the one thing that they will never have is Twitch culture. And that's huge. All these emotes being spammed and used, people being here and stuff like that, like that's huge. It's also impossible to find Ludwig's fucking stream. Hell, it's so hard he had to make his own extension. It's just not there yet. And Twitch knows that they have all of us by the balls because they do. Where are we gonna go? Unless I get a fat check from YouTube, I'm not leaving. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's the truth. 
and a lot of the mid to smaller creators are not going to YouTube because they know that they're not going to be able to grow or have the community or culture. It's just not going to happen. How much would you need? A lot. If YouTube starts to make good progress and things start happening, they have ratings. They have a live section. They have directories. As that happens more and more, my pay for going over there would be less and less. Right? Right now, it's got it's higher because the thing is, I don't grow. 10 million? No way. I would, I would never do that. I'd rather gamble and stay on Twitch, I'll be honest with you. Work with YouTube? That's not my job. I do think that it's gonna get better and better. We'll see. I hope it gets better, chat. I mean, I look, I don't want just pure competition. I want YouTube to blow the fuck up so that I can be like, hey, Twitch, you want me to stay here? Pay me. But right now, they know they have us by the ball, so they're not even giving contracts. They're not gonna, they don't need to. Let's see what Asma has to say so we can get the final answer. How is this going to affect me personally? Uh, probably it won't at all. The fact is that if I if I wanted to make more money, I could just take a sponsor a month or something like that to make more money. It would be easy, and I wouldn't have to worry about it at all. So whenever I look at this, who is this really hurting? Well, it's hurting these guys right here. He drew a whole diagram too. Fuck. That's who it's really hurting. It's not hurting uh, XQC. It's not hurting Miss. It's you see nowadays, Chad, I get put into that pile, and I'm all for it. I'm here, baby. It's not hurting me. It's not hurting Hassan. It's not hurting Train. It's not hurting, uh, you know, Ruby. And it, it's not hurting Train. I can tell you that right now, Chad. It ain't hurting Train at all. Yes. No. It's I would love to see Train's pie right now. I would, I would love to see Train's pie. It's not hurting any of us. It's going to hurt the smaller content creators. And that's what sucks. Here's the thing, though. And this is the, the, the reality. It already has hurt the smaller creators. A lot of those smaller creators, chat, they don't have the 70-30 split. They still have the 50-50 split. That's a lot that goes to Twitch. Even like your, you know, mid-sized creators don't even have this. I got lucky by having it. They're not giving that shit out anymore. E-Rob still has 50-50. I had the 70-30 split when I was at 1,000 viewers. Why? Because back then, YouTube was a threat. It just comes down to that. So they gave content creators better pay. Nowadays, it's not like that anymore. YouTube is not seen as a threat. They've done their stuff, and we've seen nothing. They see Tim the Tapman go by, you know what they say? Goodbye, man, we'll see you in two years. Because that's just the truth. They'll see them in two years. These content creators are gonna come back, they're gonna get their bag, and you know what's gonna happen when they go over there to YouTube, what they're gonna say? Wow, I really like live streaming. I like- I should go to Twitch. That's what they're gonna be saying. They're not gonna be saying, damn, I'm gonna go check out the other two people online. Like, they're gonna be like, I, if I really like it, I'm gonna go to Twitch and watch literally everybody else. And then, so it's actually a good thing that these things are happening to Twitch. It's almost like marketing. And it shows content creators that people like Tim, who is averaging way more viewers on Twitch, going to YouTube's not a good thing. But here's the thing with Ludwig. Ludwig's YouTube views are up. And that's big. And guess what? When his two year contract's up, he may say, it's time for me to go back to Twitch. And you know what's gonna happen if he comes back to Twitch? He'll have 100k viewers that day. And he'll go right back to where he was. And that's the truth. So Ludwig going there, was it a bad thing? It's almost like he's on vacation, I see it. And he'll be back in two years. Do I personally care if I'm going down from 70% to 50%? No, I don't. You could do the math, I'm losing a dollar per sub, which means I'm losing 250 grand a year. It hurts, it's not a good thing. Doesn't make, I'm not gonna be like begging for subs. Who am I kidding? I will still live my life normally. Nothing will change for me losing $250,000. But what will hurt, he's right, it's the small and mid-sized content creators. That's five EEs. <laughs> is that how we, we take $50,000 now, is an EE? Hassan's acting like this will cripple his stream? Well, for him, yeah. Hassan has double my sub count and does no sponsors. It will hurt Hassan, it won't hurt me. And you know damn well it hurt, ain't hurt Nazman. And here's another problem too, is the Twitch contracts, I'm gonna be honest, you know who ruined Twitch contracts? A lot of the older streamers. You know who they are. They got their contract, they stopped fucking giving a shit, they retired, they stopped trying, and they would just fucking stream to stream, barely putting in any effort, they get their fucking massive bag, and Twitch loses on it. And that's why Twitch isn't giving out these, these fucking massive deals anymore, it makes sense. Soda is one of them, yes. A lot of older streamers have these really good old contracts. I don't know if Soda has the really good old contract, but some of them are chat are like 10 years old, man, and they have godlike contracts. I also think streamers having to stream 180 hours is really stupid, because that just makes them stream to stream and not put any effort or content into it, and then they're not growing Twitch. They're just stagnating the, the, the website. So Twitch has no money and they're taking it from streamers? 
yeah, Twitch is really not making a lot of money. Straight up, they are a dropping like flies. They, they're they not monetizing the website enough and it's really expensive to keep these servers up and they are losing money. Which is why I said in my last stream, even before this, I think that Twitch Prime is going to go away. I think Twitch Prime is going to leave one day, if I had to guess. Imagine Twitch Prime leaving and also streamers are getting 50-50 split. Yeah, people are gonna be pissed. Imagine Mizkif when D Disney buys Twitch. I'll, I'll just become Ludwig. That's easy. Nah, I wouldn't go to Facebook gaming. You would have to pay me a lot of money to leave Twitch. You, here's the problem. I'm a Twitch frog. I've watched Twitch for 10 years. I, I don't want to leave. Although I've been on Facebook for 12. I got my notification yesterday. Netflix had started streaming service. Uh, they did already, man. <laughs> and it, and they're down like 30%. Alright, let's just get... Dude, Ludwig, stop fucking farming all your Twitch shit. I love how Ludwig has to just go farm Twitch shit when the dude's off the platform now. Like, dude, shut up. You're like that private school kid, and you're so fucking annoying with it, too. Like, would you shut up? We get it. You go to a private school, your fucking parents are rich. Like, shut the hell up. Like, look, shut up. No more exclusivity. Very interesting. All right? Because right now, if you're a partner, you can only stream on Twitch. This will open up people. Oh, my God. I can start streaming on YouTube. Holy shit. No one's going to watch. The new revenue split. 70% to 50%. Now, that number's going down, which is, which is bad for creators. Uh Write that down, chat. Write that down. Down is bad. I was like, okay, new revenue sp uh, split, 70% in, in, just for your guys' understanding. This is for subs, right? So 70% of a- My wallet! Is 350. Most big creators are currently getting that $3.50. Some of them aren't, because they kind of stopped giving it out. So I thought this was something they've already implemented, which is stopping new creators from getting the 50-50 split, but it turns out they're considering taking people who are currently making 70% for every sub and just slicing it down to 50. And a lot of bigger creators were also kind of annoyed at the ad changes. And Hassan even talked about this. He said, when I negotiated my contract, I knew this was coming. So I locked in one minute of ads per hour. And this is in his bespoke contract because he's a much larger creator. And it, he's right. That is a very, very low number. I mean, most people are doing triple, quadruple, even quintuple that amount of ads per hour. I run three minutes of ads, lol. And then Pokey tweeted out, uh, IMO Twitch should implement ads that don't directly interfere with the stream. Sidebar, picture in picture, underlay, etc. I understand advertisers are essential to make a platform profitable, but intervening with the viewer's experience isn't how they should go about it. I agree. Let's take a look. What a stupid fucking take no sh What a stupid fucking take no shit they won't watch the ads. Nobody would give a fuck and people would realize that they're there. All right, let's, this is incognito tab. Let's just boot up XQC stream. I want my Overwatch 2 drops. Unskippable 30 second ad. It's because Twitch knows that you're there to stay. You're not going to YouTube. You're in this car until the end. Bro, they're about to watch four hours of Overwatch. They're lucky to get to watch an ad. Especially because most people um, who watch on, on, on desktop or like to bounce around. Okay, I'm going to switch over to Mizkiv. And they give you another ad. This is another 30 second ad. Even though I watched 15 seconds of the other one, it doesn't matter. Thanks. A full 30 second ad just to swatch, uh, well, well, uh, switch over to Mizkiv, which is frustrating as hell. All right, and, and then take this with YouTube where, you know, you have the ad here at the top and then I want to watch Dar. My name is Nikki Terranova. Oh, and wow, that that's really cool. No I don't give you a shit. What? We can decorate that last. And now since I just watch an ad, I can switch to another video and they won't serve me another ad. Order. Because the way YouTube works is they know how recently they just served you an ad. And they won't serve you back-to-back -back ads within a minute. Where's my fucking picture of myself in Ludwig's room and why isn't it there? Wait a minute, why did Ludwig never put the picture of me in his room like he said he would? Huh? Here's what Twitch needs to do. They need to get all their CEOs, their CFOs, they need to get everyone who's a fucking manager of all streamers. And they need to start getting them all sponsors with stake. Right? They all start gambling, they make a fuck ton of money on the gambling, they put it back into the company, and they will make trillions of dollars. They want to reduce the amount of money they're blowing uh, and losing on subscribers, and maybe there's a day where they remove Twitch Prime. They know internally that doing that is like fire bells ringing, ringing uh, you know? The, th this is okay with a little dog sitting around fire meme. And I'll, you know, I'll leave you off with this. I, I ain't nothing like my boss Lester coming in here. And I pray, I pray that these things happen, chat. Because if these things happen, your old boy Mizkif gets a better deal. And your old boy Mizkif has a better shot at making more money. By just existing. And there's no better way to make money than just existing, chat. Because I hope I have a bargaining chip 
because my Twitch contract is about to end. Lots coming in YouTube game in the next two weeks. Also, PSA, YouTube's rev share across fan funding features, supers, memberships, remains 70-30. Interesting. Chat, yes, I'm a millionaire, but you do realize there's something about millionaires, right? We give a lot of money. Like, I, I give to charity. I think it's cringe that all these content creators are worrying about money when, like, I just did this for fun. Okay, there's Doc. That's someone who should be in, like, the like-minded uh, group of streamers, of gaming streamers, that I should be watching. It's all a mess. All right, anyway. I'm Why does Ludwig dress like a pastor at church? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, he dresses like a pastor. It's so fucking weird. Oh, that's uh, Cutie anyway, Cinderella's uh, oh, merch. All right, we keep getting more viewers.